Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a full face of shopping my stash, trying out new products, a little bit of different stuff, and I just felt like planning makeup, so I tried out a new palette, tried out an old foundation, and this is the look that I came up with. I think it came out okay, but I will let you guys see how I put everything together and then hopefully you'll comment and let me know what you think. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. If you wanna see how I got this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So today we are just playing in makeup and we are using drugstore products that I have hauled that I have not used yet. I don't know why I have this clipped up. So I think this will stay out of the way. If not, I will put it back up, but I think we're all right. Um, so I'm just going to get ready and I'm not doing a tutorial, but I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts as I'm using the products. So we're going to start off with primer, of course, and I'm going to be using this L'Oreal this is the Magic Perfecting Base. I remember when I picked this up, I told you guys that I wanted to see how close it was, if I can get it out of the pack, to my Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. Um, I have seen reviews, this is glued in here, that's why I can get it out. Um, I've seen reviews saying that this is a dupe for that primer, so I wanted to find out for myself because that primer is around $40. This one is $15 at CVS. You might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. The texture is similar. Um, oh yeah, the texture is very similar actually. I know like for a while I thought the e.l.f. putty primer was similar, but that one has that one's a little bit firmer. This one feels a lot like it. So this is nice. All right, I'm sorry if you guys can hear the construction. I swear it never fails. When I wanna film, somebody is hammering or using power saws and all kind of other stuff. So please just excuse that. So far, this gets a pass. It definitely reminds me of my Tarte Primer. I have used this before, but I wanna use it again. This is the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. And I'm just gonna use that to help moisturize under my eyes and also help with the darkness. As you can see, it has a bit of a peach color. And then we're going to start with eyes first, just to let all this stuff sink in. I'm using a palette that I have not used yet. And I remember when I showed it to you guys, I was on the fence about it because it did seem like it was going to be very hard to use. And I wasn't that excited about it, but we're going to use the Cara Duo Cara Beauty Palette. This is in You Had Me at Aloha. This is what the shades look like. Very colorful. We're going to do a colorful look. It's Saturday. I don't have anywhere to go, nothing to do. So we're going to play. For concealer today, I'm using this Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Incognito. I have not tried this. I hauled this, I don't know how long ago, like when it first came out. And then I was like, I'm not going to open it because I already have a lot of concealers open. We're gonna go ahead and open it. I'm gonna use this to help with a little bit of the discoloration on my eyes and I'm also gonna use it as my primer. I was going to use my CoverGirl eye primer, but we'll just go ahead and use this. Shade looks promising for under my eyes, but it feels like this is gonna be very drying. It doesn't feel like I'll need to set it because it feels like it's already drying down, so that's a good thing. So for eyeshadow, I guess I'll go ahead and set this. For my powder today, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Banana Powder. Y'all, I've had this for so long and it is not open. 
So we're gonna open it and I'm gonna see if I'm going to use it and like it or get rid of it. I am going to go ahead and also spray my face. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Skin Mist. This is a setting spray, but I'm gonna spray this on top because I'm using a very matte foundation today. Oh, this mister is weird. It smells like the all of the Physician's Formula Butter products, so luckily I like the smell of that. But we're just gonna get into this eye look. And like I said, I'm gonna do something colorful. This does not have any browns. So for my transition shade, I'm just gonna take a powder. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. This is also not open. Told you guys, this is a bunch of brand new stuff. Not new to anybody but me, cause I've had it and just not using it. This is in the shade Sable D2. This does not look as dark as I thought it did. So we will see. I'm just going to apply this in my crease. Um, see if that gives some color, which not really. So we're just gonna have to go in with a really colorful look. I've been doing a lot of purples. I wanna do more like a red orange look today, I don't know. So I'm gonna start with Sunset Beach, which is this shade up here. Let's see if I do that, there we go. It's pretty pigmented, a lot's picking up on my brush. I got this palette either at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, it's not on here, and I've seen a lot of this brand in the store but i just when i did research on youtube to see if people are actually using this i did see some reviews but i don't remember if anything was like super like oh these are so awesome whatever so i don't know if this is a dud or what i'm taking the shade next to it sangria which looks a little more red orange It's a pretty color. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Big Island. Yeah, why not? We're gonna take the shade here, Big Island. It looks purple in the pan, but it's kind of like a burgundy. Ooh, that's pigmented. And I remember thinking in my haul, like these colors, the mattes were very pigmented. It was just the shimmers that I had no idea how they were going to work because they're very soft, like ColourPop Super Shock soft. Guys, I can't believe it's summer already. And today is the, I don't even know, Lord. Today's the 10th. I'm competing in literally two weeks and I am excited, I am nervous, I will be competing in Florida and I was supposed to compete in New York a couple weeks ago actually but that meet got cancelled out of the blue and I just had to hurry up and pick something new. This is what the colors are looking like so far. So. I'm going to take a little bit of Laguna, which is this kind of orangish yellow shade and put that a little bit on my lid. Yeah, that's not coming off as bright as it looks in the pan. It's pretty much just getting lost. You can see a little bit of color, but that is not doing much. All right, let's check out these shimmers. So the only, I don't have any shimmer that color. Of course, that's what I chose. I'm gonna take a little bit of Fly With Me, which is this shimmery pink shade here, and we're gonna put that 
on my lid this is not picking up very well on my brush and it is moving around a lot in the pan like let's see if i can get this i don't know if you guys can see like it is just moving around like it's like mush so not sure what i'm supposed to do with that But I guess using my brush is not something. So let's try with my finger. Mm. Okay, let's go in with cotton candy which is this silverish blue at the bottom. And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. This is also one of those soft shades and it feels like a topper. Ooh, okay, was not expecting that. Only problem with these is like, I can't really do a detailed look because wherever you put this is where you have to put it. So like, how am I gonna get this in my inner corner? Mm, that kind of picked it up. I should have thought this out better because I wanted to go more orange, but I knew I wanted a shimmer and there's no shimmer in here that's orange. So maybe, let's see if I can build up Laguna with my finger. Ooh. That makes this in really pretty. This summer, we are doing just all the colors. I probably should have did this first and did the other shade like a topper, but they're blending together, so it's working. I'm gonna take that lemonade shade. I just wanna see what it looks like, this really bright yellow, and see if I can... I did not expect that to be like that crap. Ooh, that's bright. I just, I don't like that you can't like pick these shades up to try to blend them better. It's just nuts. I don't know how I feel about this palette. It's okay, but it is not like, I don't know. I'm not in love with it. And I have way too many other palettes that I love but i mean at least i got to try the brand and it's not all the shades are bad it's just like the more i blend the more this just disappears to nothing i'm gonna deepen up my outer v a little bit with the black i just want to see how dark that is It's pretty pigmented to say it's going over these colors. Maybe that's the thing. Do I want to keep this whole palette just for like a few shades that I'm probably never going to reach for? And if all this palette has is really good mattes, I have other palettes that have really good mattes. I don't like the shimmers in here. I just don't. Not enough to make this palette be worth anything. I don't know what's going on with this. We're just gonna leave it. I'm gonna move on because the more I try to mess with it and make it look like something, the colors just keep getting lost. I had the yellow here, it's gone. I don't know. So anyway, for foundation, we are using this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. This is in the shade 502 Caramel. Pretty sure it's gonna be a little dark. Pretty sure my concealer is gonna be a little light. So it will balance. This does come out in a very moussey texture. I have no idea. Y'all, this is so old. <laughs> I've kind of been playing with fire and I've been noticing little bumps on my face and I'm like, mm, you might want to stop using all this old stuff, but Mm, 
this coverage though. I thought this was gonna be too dark. This ain't too dark. Mm, I'm feeling like I don't know about the texture of this. We'll just keep going with it. And I realize I'm gonna have to fix the top of my forehead once I take this elastic band off. But for right now, she's okay. I feel like I put, wow. I was worried because it initially looked like it was just sitting on top of the skin, but this is working its way in and it looks good. Now we're gonna go in with our concealer. I feel like the undertone of this foundation is looking a little weird. But we'll make it work. I like the shade of this concealer. Sorry, I don't think I told you guys. It is in the shade medium golden. I don't know why I'm feeling like my face looks like super textured right now. Especially considering I used a primer that's supposed to be smoothing. It's weird because in person, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like it looks like my skin is textured, but it's only when I'm really up close to it. But then from far away, it looks good. I don't know. We're gonna go back in with the Morphe powder and set under my eyes. This is really yellow. I don't like yellow powders. Oh, that might not be that bad. I definitely don't feel like that concealer was super full coverage. I probably could have put another layer, but it's okay. This is not too yellow. I thought it would be, but it's fine. I feel like it's definitely smoothing everything out. This looks pretty good. Hadn't used it, not sure why, but I'm gonna take my powder brush and just brush this away because I do not need to bake. See, I feel like you can see something here. I'm gonna let this powder sit a little bit. I feel like I see a little orange peeking through and I use that Milani corrector and I'm wondering if that's what I'm seeing. So I'm just gonna let this sit to kind of help neutralize that. If that even helps. We'll just let that sit. And then I am going to put some powder on the rest of my face. Even though this powder looks a lot lighter than I thought it was, I'm also just not used to my face being this dry. I think that's what it is. I'm not powdering our whole face with that. I just want to help blur. Yeah, I still see orange. I don't know what's up with that, but we're just gonna let it roll. I haven't used my Black Radiance Contour Palette in a while, so I'm gonna use that today. And just contour and bronze and all that good stuff. Y'all, please ignore my crusty over here. I will fix it when I take off this headband. I'm actually in the middle of also trying to film a wig video for the first time so we're gonna see how that goes if this comes out okay if not it never happened yeah i like that this is giving me a little oh god barbara you gotta remember the pigment Ooh, blend now we are going to let's see we're gonna do highlight first I have the highlighter in here, or do I have another one? Oh yeah, I do. 
I'm gonna use this Maybelline Master Chrome. I have not used this in forever. And then we're gonna do blush because I have a liquid blush. Not liquid, but a cream. I just feel like my face looks very textured. I'm gonna have to use that primer again and see if it's that. I'm feeling like it's probably the foundation because it's old. So I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of that because I do not want to ever do my face and it come out looking like who did it and what for. And that is what I'm feeling like right now. Like it just looks super textured even the way this is applying. Oh, Barbara. I don't know if you guys can see that. It just, it's making stuff look patchy. But that's what happens when you use old products, Barbara. So I have the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bali. I know it's Bali because it's the only one I picked up, but I took the label off. Oh, it does say it on here. I was about to say, how do they do that to people? I don't know if you guys can see that color. Yeah, I can see it. I don't want to go in with my finger and use it, and I don't want it to lift. I swear it just feels like everything's sitting weird on my skin. I will say it's not picking up the product, so that's good. I love this shade. Ooh, that is pretty, and it goes with my eyeshadow. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom and try it with my other products. Do I have another blush to go over this? Do I wanna set it? No, we are already super matte, so we're just gonna leave it. Keep our cheeks a little glowy, like that. For my brows, I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna do the other off camera. I have this Milani Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint. This is one of those pen, um, ink pen marker things. I ain't too worried about being sculpted today. And we're just gonna see. Uh, oh, you gotta be careful with this. That is dark, whoa. I did not expect that much pigment to come off. Let's see if I can, ooh, she wanna stay too. Okay, so you gotta be careful with this. For sure. That is getting very dark, very fast. Can I use this for the tail? This literally feels like I'm using like a liquid eyeliner on my eyebrows. Whoa, and it is dark. I was not expecting that pigment. That is dark. And this literally looks like little hairs in the front. I went too far in, but... I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'll be back. All right, brows are done. I feel like they look a little dark, <laughs> but yeah, you gotta be super careful with that pen. The tip of it is really flimsy, so it feels like whenever you're putting it on that like you think you're in the right place to put it, and then the next thing you know, you got a dark line not exactly where you wanted it. So that kind of sucked, but I definitely like it, and I think that I'm gonna keep using it because I love how it kind of made my brows look a little more bushier and more like hair as opposed to just how I would fill them in with the pencil because that is how I normally do. I'm so disappointed in this palette. Like I wanted a lot more color in this look and I'm just not getting what I wanted at all. But I had to use it to know that and I hadn't used it yet. Like, I don't know if maybe I need to wet this. Let me try. Maybe that'll help it go on better. That's still not even really helping it.
Like, I just want yellow. And now I'm just about to have powder all over my face. All right, I'm gonna stop for I mess something up. Cause it's just not wanting to deposit the way I envisioned it. I want it more yellow on my lid. I keep trying to put it, it is not happening. a little better but you can't blend it it's literally like you just have to press it in that one spot and then don't mess with it and this is the brightest yellow in the palette so yeah I'm not keeping this <laughs> I've had to work too hard some people love these palettes it's not me this is good enough but yeah no I don't have a new liner. I have my, which liner did I grab? Probably my Milani the Tank liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use that real quick. Then we're gonna do lashes and lips and that'll be it. I was gonna put on lashes. This mascara reminds me of the Pat McGrath Dark Star. This is the Milani highly rated mascara. I'm not putting on lashes. I love how black this is. My lashes look so good. So we're gonna stick with that. For lips, I already knew what lip liner I wanted to use. This is the ColourPop uh, Cola Luxe Liner. Mm, that's a little bit cooler than I thought, but I knew that's what I wanted because I hadn't used it. And then for lips, I have three shades. These are all Milani lipsticks, and I have the shades Naturally Chic, Bahama Beige, and Matte Naked. I'm thinking because this is so brown, I need to go Naturally Chic, so I will swatch the three of them. It is a little more pink than Bahama Beige, which is not showing hardly at all, and then Matte Naked, which is also a little pink. So. Naturally Chic, Bahama Beige, Matte Naked. I don't even know if those are showing. So we're gonna go with Naturally Chic. I think that's still neutral enough. Bahama Beige ain't gonna work. Let's see if we can make it a little matter. All right, that is a nude lip, which we also don't do very often. I feel super dry. I've sprayed my face already, but I'm gonna spray it again. This mister sucks a lot. Pat that in and this is it for the look. So I'm gonna take this band off my head, I'm gonna fix my forehead and that'll be the end of the video. So give me one second while I transform. All right guys, that is it for this video. This is the final look. Note to self, don't leave your elastic band on for an hour because now I have to wait for this crease to get out of my forehead, like right here, cause it was so tight. Y'all saw the makeup. I just wanted to play and I have figured out some stuff that I need to get rid of. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this look. And yeah, that is it. If you're new, I hope you decided to subscribe and join the family and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.